Hey, how's it going, Terry and Curtis? Thank you so much for speaking to me earlier. This is Devin again. I'm just really quickly in this video going to show you three things I found on your website you can fix so you can start bringing in more customers immediately. I know you're probably wondering why I would even make this video for you. It's really simple. I just found out a little while ago there's a lot of small business owners out there that are spending all their time running their business and taking care of their customers. And they just don't typically have the time to learn how to make the internet work for them and bring in more customers. And the only thing really holding them back from just hiring a marketing agency is they don't know who is an expert and who is not. So I found that by just making these attack plans and giving them away for free, there's still a lot of business owners out there who end up calling me back going, you know what, Devin, I like you. Can you just do this stuff for me? Whichever way you want to go, if you want to take this information and apply it yourself, or if you want any help, is it's totally okay with me. I'm just trying to give out some free education. What I'm going to talk to you about today is going to be content, backlinks, and citations. And I wanted to start by looking at your website because I really love the look of your website. It's very, very clean and sleek. I really love this logo. You built it on Weebly, which is awesome. I built a lot of websites on Weebly. I really love Weebly. And it's just a really clean, nice site. Unfortunately, Google just doesn't rank you based off of how good looking your website is. What they care about is your content, which is all this stuff right here that you can read, as well as whatever your images are saved as. And so Google wants a lot of content. The average website on the front page of Google has about 2,000 words of content. It looks like you probably have about 250 to 300. So you're going to want to get this up to 2,000 words. You're also going to want to have some keywords in there. A keyword is just something that somebody would type in to find your business. So like a really common one in your area is AC Repair DeSoto. TX and you don't even have the word AC repair on here so you want to have stuff like AC repair air conditioning stuff like that in your content so Google knows to rank you for that kind of stuff so that's tip number one my second tip is called backlinks <clears throat> excuse me a backlink is when another website is linking to you driving traffic to you oh and by the way I'm sorry before I go on this is your main competitor pop -A. these are popping up the number one on top of Google and you can see why they're rank outranking you is they have a lot more content on here a lot more words so just to show you how important having 2,000 words is. Okay, back to backlinks. So backlinks when another website is linking to you, driving traffic to you, and Google is kind of like a popularity contest. They want to make sure that you have a bunch of other websites like linking to you and vouching for you. But they do want relevant links, which means they're going to give you a lot more power if you have another HVAC company linking to you versus if you had like Pizza Hut linking to you because Google knows that you're not a pizza company. And so the tool that I use to check this out is called Ahrefs. Uh, you don't have to use it. There are a bunch of free tools out there. I just use this one because it's really, really powerful and it's got a lot of information. But it says you currently have 14 websites linking to you, which is definitely a great start. Pop -A AC has 33 linking to them. So it's a difference of about 19. I wouldn't say to just go get 19 websites though, because that would just match them. I'd say blow them out of the water and just go like take all 33 from them. So you go look at these links, go visit these different websites right here that are linking to them and click either create a profile and put the link in your profile or you can click the contact us button and get them to put a link back to you. But just by following these two tips of beating them in content and beating them in, um, in sorry, backlinks right here, that's how you beat them in the organic section. There's three places you can show up. You can show up in the organic section down here. You can show up up here in the uh, ad section. You have to pay for this and the results kind of vary. But the best place to show up is right here in the Google My Business section. Getting here requires having more citations than your competitors. A citation is anywhere where your name, your address, and your phone number are listed in different directories across the web. And a directory is just a website like Yelp or like Yellow Pages, somewhere where you're allowed to list your business's information. What I would do is I'd figure out how many directories Pape Air Conditioning is listed in, list yourself on those same ones, and then add a bunch more on top. Like if they were in 150 directories, you should be putting yourself in 250, if not 300. And that's all I've got for you. I hope you found this informative and helpful. I try to keep it really short, but to the point for you. It's a very quick recap. You're going to want 2,000 words on your homepage, and you want to put keywords inside of your content. You're also going to want to have more websites linking to you than Pape. So I'd get like a total of like 50, and I would just copy them. And the last thing is put your name, address, and phone number in more directories in the Pape. And if you follow these three tips, you'll be number one across Google. So I bet you're probably wondering, what do I do now? You have a couple options. One, you can take this information I gave you. You can apply it yourself. You can rank yourself to the top of Google and grow your business. And that would be awesome. I'm trying to help as many business owners as possible. And so I'd just really love your feedback on what you thought about this information. If you don't really want to do this stuff, if you'd rather just continue running your business, but you do want this stuff done for you, you can give me a call. I can see if I can help you. And if I can't, I'll at least guide you in the right direction. Either way, I do appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. I look, for, I look forward to hearing back from you and I hope you have a great day.